This is Plus TV Africa Children Day Special. The world of tech has a lot of children winning in the tech space. Today, we are being joined by two tech geniuses, Joshua Agbola and Onome Emure. So, Onome, how did you get into the tech space? I got into the tech space when I was as young as seven. My mother introduced me to coding with something as simple as Scratch. And I began to build up my knowledge from there. I went on going from courses to courses and searched online until I became a master at eight programming languages. Wow. What challenges have you faced? Challenges have, I have faced are the programs that I learn whenever there's whenever there's a teacher teaching the programs, they don't always teach everything. And so it can get confusing for some people. Oh. Okay. What advice do you have for children wanting to go into tech? The advice I have is that it takes hard work and it takes smart work. You need to be hard working, you must devote your time to it. Yeah. And sure. You have to have a passion for it. Yeah. You're not just do it for doing sake. That's my advice. Thank you. What do you love most about tech? The thing I love most about tech is that it promotes problem solving and hard work. So Joshua, how did so how did you get into the tech space? So my dad introduced me to the tech space when I was when I was really young, when I was six years old. He took me to a computer training school called Genius Academy. We actually thought I was too young. By the time I was done, he was surprised at what I could do. When I went to CCO at the age of seven, and we did, we did some coding classes, my dad found out I was a little bit ahead of my class. So he, so he, he took me to homeschooling, to my wife by himself. So I was able to focus a lot of websites. I put it for my school and for myself, and I came up with a lot of projects. Joshua, what challenges have you faced? I, I had a lot of challenges. First, my first day, people are like doubting like, what can this 10 year old do? They have to keep updating projects and keep making more projects to convince them that it's not, so it's not a lie. And also, I want to be working on a game called, a, a game as a a game that um, I was trying to play on Google Play Store. For me to create that game, it took me uh, about two weeks to create the game and to get it working on the phone. And then my next step was now to play to Google Play Store. And I just got a lot of issues. And now I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to solve it. I was frustrated sometimes. I, I'll go and tell my sister, like, my sister, like why, why am I doing this? I want to give up. And then it, was just, like, it should be so, so frustrating because I've been doing this thing for, I've, I've been on this game for more than one month. And it's like, why, why would you spend one more on this thing? But when you put some, when you take something that you put focus into it, it's not so, going to be very, going to go very far. And I've, I've nearly solved the problem. So, what advice do you have for children wanting to go into tech? Um, I, 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 apart from the children, I also want to give to the parents. I pray to help their children to to enroll their children in tech foundations to help their children to expose their creativity the way that it benefits the humanity. If if you expose children to coding at this age, we're able to make Nigeria a better place. We have tech experts who will solve a lot of Nigerians problems. Nigeria is a very opportune country okay. because there are a lot of problems, and those problems are left for us, our generations, to solve using tech examples. And for children, who to put Put focus. We, we, we work towards what you are doing. Make sure you put focus on everything you are doing. Even if it looks like it's stress, still put your still put your work. Take your time. Focus on what you do, and you're going to get greater. If you focus on tech, you're going to whatever you focus on, and you take time to do, you're going to be great in it. Okay. So Joshua, how do you juggle your tech with your schoolwork? Yeah, um, I I usually go to I I usually go to school. I still do my I still do my programming work. I still do my programming work. Yeah. I go to, I'll, I'll go to my school and I work more on my programming too. From that, by the time I'm back of school, I'm back from school. I write some of my notes. I make sure I'm up, I'm up to date with the class. 
and I'll still go and work on my programming, spend my holidays, some days in the week to work on my program. What do you love most about tech? Uh, I love the, what I love most about tech is the way you can expose your creativity and you can put your creativity by creating solutions and you, you could design things the way you like. I like I like one because when I say like I can make something appear on the screen through a laptop, isn't it? It's so awesome because you can feel like you are using what you know, a simple line of code and you are expressing your creativity. You can put hello there, it's me, it's that it's, it's Joshua's world. You can express your creativity with Photoshop is there, Adobe a lot of Adobe um, uh, and open source platforms for you. And you can in any program, like way you go into a program, like, I don't be able to express your creativity with that programming language. Joshua, what do you want to achieve in tech? And what are your goals? Okay, my goals are mainly like when that I, I, want, I want to make Nigeria a better place by solving a lot of solutions, by solving a lot of problems and providing a lot of solutions to problems. Like find a solution to um, to poverty, find a solution to, to helping this pandemic, and find a solution in all of this. I also created um, a, a, a web app called Bridge Doctor, B R I D G E O K T O R, Bridge Doctor dot com. When you you, you you put in your disease, then gives it gives you some some home remedies to solve that disease. And I and I and I believe that and I believe in Nigeria. I want to solve problems for Nigeria. I don't like the way people are in poverty. People are well, people are, people are, because this this idea I got was because my my auntie she. God, because of cancer, she was um, she was too, she was lost. But but now that has inspired me to create this kind of a beginning that can help people find remedies to to um, ailments. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Joshua. This was a very insightful conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anome and Joshua. Like Onome said, it takes a whole lot of hard work and commitment, and I guess that's why I haven't lived up to my father's expectations in me becoming a coding genius. Well, as for me, I started coding when I was in GS1, but I stopped when I was in J3 because I couldn't finish because it was quite difficult it really and tasking. Is. So we will take a short break. When we return, we'll be talking about children who discovered their musical talent very early. Stay with us.